forest feels denser now, compared to a few years ago at least. <sighs> That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. And it still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. Maybe. Maybe. E-U-A-K. I just... I haven't been here in a while, that's all. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. I'm glad we get to spend some time together before you have to leave. Girls, we're almost there. Let's keep walking. Come on. Let's go. finish the story? Right, yeah, um, where was I? Ah, right, okay, so, so her mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night. What's a frat party? Uh, well, it, it, it's like a birthday party, but instead of presents, people just, um, drink a lot. That sounds stupid. It was. I never liked going to those either. Uh, but I'm glad I did go to this one. Your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you've seen me dance. I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea, and, well, um, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flaying about like a lunatic, then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg, then there was blood everywhere, and then we had to go to the emergency room. Oh, jeez. Needless to say, I didn't dance again until our wedding day. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you then? I really have no idea, darling. Whoa. Cool, right? Who made this? Dad. Glad this is all still here. Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. Why didn't I get to go? Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still are. OK, Moonbear, come and get your gear. Uh... Oh, yeah. Final checks to commence mission. <laughs> oh, uh... My foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. Except this time you get to use these cool looking claw things at left foot. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad? Yeah? Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. But, but to get to the moon, you need a badge. Just like your scouting badges, basically. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that, on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing and we needed to climb our way up, you could, and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? They're completely safe, Kathy. I promise. All right, so, final tally. Go or no go? Go. Just slam each pickaxe as hard as you can, one after the other. You can do it, Moonbear! It's okay, Moonbear. It's all about it. Try again. You've got this.
We're going to the moon. Excited? Yay! <laughs> okay. Carefully climb down now, okay, River? WMO reports that I do. You watch the same news. You, you know what happened to me. Please, just come with us. Don't, don't you? Come on, Claire. I hate you for what you're doing. I hate you. <sighs> Come on. Let's put the gear away. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? She does. Don't worry. Change your mind. And we'll be together? Yep. Let's get you home. You need a big rest before your exam tomorrow. Watching me sleep? Yes. That's kind of creepy, Seth. <laughs> I just. I just brought that for comfort. Uh, what do you expect to find on Mars, Cat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking, I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... It's always difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe Isaac always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's but... all that matters, right? He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. Cat, I said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far, I'm doing just that. Right? A 
To close the shutters for dramatic effect, because what's in front of us will amaze, shock, and possibly delight you. What? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they built. Okay. You just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay. Well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Lavos. Would you look at that? seen solar panels like these? Looks like they combine standard PV panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you? It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start the pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. All right, Ryan and Sarah, prepare to board. Supervise the procedure on this terminal. Okay. Kathy, CMG and pit controls are released and available for manual control. On it. Waypoint 0 to 2 are calculated and defined. Waypoint 2 assigned to auto-lock abort function. Final go, no go pile at waypoint 2. All right, Kathy, take us in. Capture now also complete. Docking confirmed. Looks like a smooth dock. Great job, Kathy. Thanks. Ryan, Sarah, you have permission to enter the ship. Permission was assumed. We're already crossing as we speak. Copy. I'll reprimand you later for insubordination. I shall accept my sentence with dignity. Sis, I can join them to investigate. We only need one person. That's not necessary. It's not necessary for me to stay here either. Kathy. Please respect my command. Oh, my sister. I am your commander. Claire, I think we could use another set of eyes over here. The interior is huge and built like a maze. We can be here a while. Copy, Sarah. Kathy's heading over now. Copy that. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Isn't this quiet everywhere inside the ship?
Lulu, are you seeing this? I've never seen so many cryopods in one place before. A hologram? Here? How are you even finding this data? Are you keeping secrets from me, Ayla? Well, let's take a look. Sorry, Miss Laverde, but Director McCarthy was clear. Our warriors, welcome to a new dawn. We stand on the edge of greatness. We are the culmination of thousands of years of technological progress. Earth is a lost cause. There's no coming back from the damage we inflicted upon her. But now, we have a chance to correct humanity's course. A future without conflict, without division, uncorrupted by weakness or doubt. We have the tools, the minds, and the bodies to create a sustainable utopia. A place for you, your future children, and grandchildren. With my five-year plan, we will build a solid foundation for our good together. What about Ark Vida? Don't we need all three Arcs for this to work? The loss of Arc Vita is one we can overcome if we remain strong and work hard to compensate. But for this to succeed, we must be unified. If we do not work together, we will fail. If we challenge and fight one another, we will fail. In this monumental endeavor, we are only as strong as our weakest link. So, people of Outwood, we stand on the precipice. Join me, and together we will build something better. Gather your belongings and prepare to transfer to Ark Habitas for our descent to Mars. We leave in two hours. Was that stunt truly necessary? What were you hoping to achieve by diverting the ship? Rosa, I don't want to force you to cooperate, but... Tell that to the fine men you've got escorting me. I'm... Sorry it came to this. But we need you. Outward needs you. Your medical expertise is crucial to the colony. Everyone's lives depend on it. I will do my best. Thank you. I'm not doing it for you, William. Rosa and the others. Ayla, if they made it to the surface, they could be with Dad right now. Ayla, I'll log these to my Astro tool myself. So go ahead and strike them from your backups, okay? We'll let the others know later. After we find out.
The best solar panels we've produced in the past 20 years can't even reach 40. So why isn't it functional? Well, that's the weird part. It is functional. It just seems they... turn it off. <laughs> Strange. The door to the bridge is locked, but I think I can open it with a stream point. Copy that. Keep us posted. Claire, I'm in the bridge and the entire room is filled with pieces of debris. You sound almost happy. Well, to be honest, the chaos looks very... pretty. Easy there, Edgelord. Can you determine what caused it? I'll look around. The emergency security doors have been activated here. Whatever happened behind those closed doors is the answer. An answer we can't get to. No. Afraid not. What's the status of the bridge's main terminal? Looks like I need to fix the MPT converters before I can turn the arc's power back on. Output metrics show the same. The MPT dish isn't receiving any of the energy from the batteries. This ship's operating system is really locked tight. 
I'm on it. The breach really did a number on this place too.
Mexico. Thanks. That did it. Copy. Diagnostic? All within safety margins over here. Looks good over here, too. Great job, Kathy. Thanks, Sarah. All right. Captain, head over to the bridge and access the terminal. Opera team, Arc Labos is fully functional. Congratulations, team. One arc down, two to go. Let's check the MPT, Ola. The MPT is fully operational again. I'm going to re-establish the connection to the surface. No! What? No, Kathy! We don't know what we'll find down there. You start the MPT connection with the broadcast numbers to anyone on the surface. A bit before you act. Roger that. Entry guidance design has been re-optimized. Preparing for EDL. T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 I'm sorry for being so protective. I know I'm not mum. What, what I mean is... I see how much you've grown. I know I can trust you. Thanks. Commander. Moment of truth, Opera Team. If the orbit burn doesn't function, we all know what to do. Starting burn. We are losing three axis stabilization. Nominal velocity changes, propulsive efficiency completely tanked. Unable to correct. What about tertiary thrusters? Gone. Momentum desaturation has failed. Mass expulsion won't help. We are in loss of control. Understood. Opera team, abandon ship. Ryan, Sarah, to cargo in the pods. Kathy and I will try one last maneuver. Cat, do you copy? Cat, copy. You can do this.
Can you hear me? 